Lithium ion batteries are sparking new safety concerns and not for the reason you might think. They are being installed in communities across the tri state to help power your home. This is part of a new green energy movement, but a string of fires has caused concerns for people living around them. As you would imagine, investigative reporter Dan Croft has been following this. And so Dan, first of all, we've seen the videos. We've covered this extensively of lithium ion battery fires that happen with the e-bikes or something like that. Now you're talking about a farm of lithium ion batteries. Yeah, it's a whole new ball game. Now we're only going to see more of this moving forward. Wow. There are large batteries that are inside metal containers and they're popping up in places from New York City to the suburbs and beyond. But some neighbors worry they're getting too close for comfort. We've seen what a store bought lithium ion battery can do when it explodes on an e bike or scooter. Now a new concern about larger industrial sized batteries being installed in communities to help power homes. There's nothing more important than protecting the safety of your family. And that's what this is about. Lauren Roslin bought her dream home in Putnam County, has pride in her community, about an hour's drive north of New York City. We just felt it would be a great place to raise our family. But like many of her neighbors, she'll now find this warning sign outside her home. A power company wants to install what's called a battery energy storage system or best facility in this wooded area, an area that butts up to her backyard. About 140 foot containers of lithium ion batteries. That's a lot. Yes, you're talking tractor trailer size containers full of lithium ion. The batteries store energy during off peak hours and feed it back to the grid when it's needed most. They're being installed in various sizes across the state, including New York City, from the Bronx to Staten Island. To make a stronger, more resilient grid um, to hopefully minimize power outages and stabilize prices. By 2030, New York wants to increase the amount of energy it stores from 359 all the way up to 6,000 megawatts. That would be enough energy to power all of New York City for an entire day. These facilities are very, very new. Um, we do know that they can be quite dangerous. There have been three battery plant fires in New York since last summer, from one upstate at a site in Jefferson County, to another in East Hampton, to a fire in Warwick that smoldered for days. It really is a, a broader issue which could affect residents all over. The site near Roslyn's home is located in an area where the water drains into New York City's drinking water system. There is a tremendous amount of layers of safety. Advocates want you to know the energy storage batteries like this have stricter regulations than those bought by consumers. They're in containers designed to prevent the spread of fire, and they say no dangerous levels are found in the air or soil of the three battery fires. But after those incidents, the state released a report with recommendations to change the state fire code to help improve safety. They include requiring all sites to put safety signs around the property, install a fire detection and alarm system, and to have experts that are able to arrive within four hours to the scene of a fire. They're trying to put those improvements in place by next year. Meanwhile, we have mapped every battery storage system in the area, including smaller units that are actually being installed inside people's or near people's homes. You'll find this clickable map right now with more information at abc7ny.com. And I have to tell you guys, I have so much that I couldn't include in this story, so we're going to have another story for you about this issue coming up tonight at 5. I'm looking forward to that because, I mean, I think the question is, is this one of those instances where the technology is behind the regulation or ahead of the regulation at this point? And so they're trying to figure out how to marry the two to make sure it's safe. They're trying to marry the two, and they're trying to do this not just in New York, but in almost every state across the country. Wow. And a lot of these have come up without any state regulation. Now they're yeah. trying to rush right. that state regulation. Because it sounds like there are clear benefits to this. Clear but benefits. It needs to be done correctly. correctly. Looking forward to this story at 5, Dan. Thank, Thank you for having Dan. me. Sam?